Good morning, everyone, and welcome to all of us who are watching our first online open week for the School of Financial Planning and Insurance. My name is Michaela Thomas. I'm from the marketing team, and I'm here to ensure that everything runs smoothly, that we have a great time, and that we all just have a chat, engage, talk about the High Certificate in Financial Planning, which is our program for the morning. On the right-hand side, guys, I'm going to go through some housekeeping rules quickly. On the right-hand side, you'll see you have a chat box say hi, tell us where you're watching from. Um, it'd be great to hear from you if you've got any comments. Larissa's there. Oh, good morning, beautiful people. Good morning to you, Larissa. Um, at the bottom of your screen, ladies and gentlemen, there's also a poll which is running live. Please please let us know if you'd like us to get in contact with you after the session, um, if you'd want us to send you more info on the program. Ask us what we, you know, what we do on the daily basis. We'll be able to tell you that. Um, but for the moment, I'm going to sort of start handing over to our lovely academics. We have with us the program oversight owner, Sunay Van Skalkwek, and of course the program manager, Zulfa Bardeen. They're going to take us through the first few slides. For the, for the moment, we're going to just start with Sunay, and I wish you guys luck, and I'm here. And over to you, Sunay. Good morning, everyone. So on this lovely Monday morning, it's so cold, I said just now to the team, I'm sitting here freezing, <laughs> heats are on, but I'm very excited to take you through this morning session um, on the higher certificate in financial planning. Um, definitely, obviously one of my favorites because it's my um, joy to have this as an oversight on being an oversight on this qualification. Um, a, a really nice, platform to get started for financial planning when you're entering the industry so but we'll get to all of that so for this morning um, Michaela has prepared for me a lovely slide just to show to you who we are where we're sitting and how do we fit in with the greater studio group so Milpak is part of this great umbrella underneath um, studio and you guys will see that under studio there's even some more different um, categories in terms of these there any questions writing this at the end please I said to Michaela I'll just give it over to her um, I've been part of the Mill Park education group the last year so um, the past year I've been as I had the privilege to be a lecturer and then obviously oversight on the higher certificate in financial planning um, Mill Park we've been around for quite some time um, started in 1997 um, with the greatest studio group you guys would see that still some of the names that have been with us in um, Mill Park has moved around and moved into the greatest studio but we are still here and this platform um, for teaching in the financial planning industry um, we are well known and I think definitely with the followers for the financial planning industry where you guys get to know more of um, the financial planning industry you'll see that Mopak is has been around for quite some time we have campuses so you can come and visit obviously now a bit more strict in the COVID area of restrictions but in Melville Joburg um, and then in Claremont in Cape Town there's offices um, Michaela you can move to the next slide it's fine that's just a um, a little bit of a statement in terms of the financial planning insurance programs we have available today our focus is the higher certificate in financial planning um, but we do have a certificate in financial planning products where um, we introduce you for those that just want to see what is this industry about we introduce you about the different products it's really interesting it goes into just a short step of death of um, each of the financial planning products but um, in the higher certificate in qf5 qualification there we have quite a variety of certificates that you can complete um, our focus today and obviously coming up in this week will be the other programs that's available at Mill Park um, Financial Planning School and please join those in this coming week they are all very excited you'll see new faces some different lecturers on those so please come and join us um, the highest certificate in financial planning as I mentioned sitting under um, the highest certificate in um, NQF5 I'm not going to spend too much time in terms of all the different ones there you have the slide there and like I said I'd like to 
um, encourage you to come and join in the coming days for the other session. Okay. Um, as I mentioned, questions will be at the end of the session. So please bear with us through this morning and listen. And um, you're welcome to post um, on, on the right hand side. But we'll take some questions. So I'm going to kick off on why would I recommend you studying with us and also the higher certificate in financial planning. Um, I myself started in this industry, kicked off with um, no knowledge of what financial planning was and I just wanted a qualification. And I must say what a broad spectrum of entry levels you can go in with having a financial planning um, education in the background. Um, it definitely equips you with um, a lot of different aspects in the financial industry and an interesting one. So in studying higher certificate financial planning with Milpark, um, we have put together with a great group of lecturers and um, some advanced further studies. Even our deans have put in some um, commitment to these study guides and this course. And it really puts you a good presentation together of how to operate in the financial planning secret, um, sector and then obviously being responsible as a financial planner um, or advisor and even as you're starting out being just a para planner or an administrator in financial planning knowing what this is about. Um, We'll even in this high certificate financial planning, there is about the economic environment and um, the different connections in terms of the financial services industry, your medical aid. You guys will see later on in the session as we engage with the elective um, modules, the lecturers, the, um, the specialized fields that you can also um, enter with higher certificate financial planning. Once you've completed the high certificate in financial planning, you have the option to apply for the class of business training um, as required by the FASE Act. So for those that is doing this for compliance um, qualification, which is a great, it's definitely a must for those that um, need it as a compliance qualification. We are registered as a um, approved on the financial sector conduct authority for a qualification accreditation for yourself and then also with the financial planning institute of um, south africa we are accredited education provider and um, you will be able to go even further but we'll look at that in um, i think it's on the next slide michaela yes that's correct you can move over to that one for us. I think it's on. Is it just not moving on my side or must I click somewhere? <laughs> no, don't worry. Um, let me know when you can see it. <laughs> we should be on the who should study the highest of financial planning with us. Let me know if you can see it. Okay. Yes, I see it now. Awesome. Okay, so I briefly mentioned on this, but um, persons that should study it obviously and they would know already because they would have been informed in any case by compliance. Our compliance has been so involved in the financial planning sector with um, the more openness we're getting in terms of being more just fairly towards our clients and becoming more compliant. Um, so persons requiring a full qualification in order to meet their competencies, like I mentioned, it is listed on the FCSA, so the Financial Sector Conduct Authority. You'll find us on one of those Excel spreadsheets. We um, definitely um, allow you that competency requirement. Um, so you'll be phase fit if you complete your high certificate in financial planning. And like I mentioned, new entrants. Um, as a startup, this is a great level for even um, as you enter and you're working in the financial planning sector, be it in banking or in um, a wealth environment for an insurer investment company 
or within a FSP, a financial service provider. Engage with your employers to say that this is somewhere that you'd like to gain more knowledge. Millpark definitely equips you with that in the higher certificate financial planning where you gain knowledge of just the technical aspects of the product and um, this is a starting point so you'll obviously get to know the product as it sits and how you would work with it and um, also the environment so it's important to know the legislation environment being um, a competency requirement for phase um, your higher certificate in financial planning um, a qualification that you need in education um, I would definitely also say that in the financial planning uh, certificate with each module as you gain knowledge through your compulsories and then choosing your elective it's quite interesting to see for even new entrants the feedback that we had to say that it just made up everything so clear as to um, what it's really behind and why we need um, to be compliant in our industry and be ethical and responsible okay so on this um, Oh, just you know, on the previous slide, I think I just forgot to mention. Once you've completed the I certificate in financial planning, you can register with um, the Financial Planning Institute of South Africa. I know everyone is always excited to get linked to the FBI. If you're not yet linked and you're a new intern, go and engage already as a student. And um, once you enroll, enroll with us, yes, on this qualification. Um, and you've completed this, you can enroll um, and get the designation as an RFP, a registered financial planner, which is really good for your resume. Michaela, you can go to the next one. Okay, so on this um, qualification, as I mentioned, I am the oversight owner. You saw our program manager Zulfa quite briefly. And then we have a couple of lecturers, which you all get to meet soon. They'll all speak about their um, modules and give you just a hi there. So I am a lecturer on a couple of modules and we have Khadi and we have Dion, Brunhilde and then Wesley. So you're... In terms of the modules on this qualification, there is four compulsory modules that you need to take for um, completing your higher certificate in financial planning and then you have the option to choose between two electives and there's a list of um, electives here in terms of the compulsories you have two compulsory modules with a 15 credit okay and then you have two with a 30 credit and these um, both obviously or four of them take up in your semester and um, Zulfa will actually just tell you in terms of the admissions she'll go through in more detail. So we have on um, compulsory modules we have the introduction to financial planning which you can either take then if you start up in semester two coming up soon for us um, then you can start up with either one of these four but as I mentioned, Zulfa will mention to you what we look for in terms of when starting on this qualification. Then we have the electives um, that focus here on just starting up with the basic principles of financial planning. For those sitting in a different department, they'll know already, okay, I'll need to elect this or this is where my interest is going in terms of financial planning. So then there's also the offer of a short term. Um, module that you can select your personal lines insurance and then relationship marketing um, a lot of people in the FSPs have opened and as they've grown open to um, the sector divisions where you can sit in um, and work a lot with growing in that market space so that's really also a really interesting module next slide for us there um, Michaela. Okay, and then here on offer as well, some more electives. As I mentioned, you can choose two. So this is quite interesting to go through some of these. And I would definitely say for those interested, ask questions to the lecturers as they chat. These electives is literally a snippet into a um, 
more specialized focused field of financial planning so it's literally your first step as to where you can say okay i'd like to know more about retirement funds my retirement products or i'd really like to know how a will is drafted and then there's the module of wills and administrations of deceased estate health planning like i mentioned in the start of this um live session um health planning is also specialized you can go in financial planning in so many directions and with Park, as we offer you going from higher certificate all the way up to um, completing a postgrad getting that cfp at the end of where everyone really aims to go um, you'll be able to say you are really enjoyed going into the specialized field and you have that option with your electives at Milkbox. Okay, I think there's some more electives. You can go to the next slide. Oh, so that's our electives, guys. I think there's about seven that you can go through. Then in terms of distance learning, um, with Milkbox, we offer you the opportunity to study from anywhere which is lovely. I think especially in today's world where we're sitting, where um, we are supposed to keep distant from everyone. And it keeps you focused. For those now that's been working from us, you can take self-paced, focus at home, in your space, your learning environment, um, accessible anywhere in the world. We've got students studying while they are taking a one-year gap year um, across the world and um, taking up this to come back and have something to um, start up when they hit the ground for South Africa working again. And then in terms of how we offer the structure, um, these you'll also see and obviously the packs that's available online if you go and visit that. So we have a formative, all of these, as I mentioned, is online. Since um, the change in obviously the whole world with COVID, Millpark has even gone the extra mile to make more of the environment online. Um, so we offer the opportunity to write those summative exams, literally in the comfort of your home, in a room. So you can do then um, your part A and part B. We split it um, so in some cases um, with a part B submission. But in terms of the part A and part B, it sounds where you're writing that summative, um, your two exams as a final. It's actually lovely because just in between that two part exam, you get a small comfort break. You can just stretch that legs and you can sit again go forth with the next part. It's just all to help in terms of calm that nerves. Um, so that's really quite interesting. In terms of just the technical bits there, you can go and read there. I'm certain these will be available, these slides, or it should also be available on your um, on our course page. Go to the Millpark website, download this, and you can go into the detail as to how we assess and um, combine your final mark for this qualification on each module. Then in terms of the distance learning, as I mentioned, accessible anywhere in the world. So as long as you have internet and you have your device, whether it's a cell phone, it's a laptop, um, your computer, um, a tablet, you can access your course. So you can access your module and then on each module we offer you um, different access links where you go through all the details so it's accessible all the time as you study and um, here we post on give important information in your first slide when you enter into this my courses um, for your module this specifically that i've taken is from one of the first modules that you'll obviously um, take up with the higher certificate in financial planning um, you can see there um, Michaela, I think in the next, this first slide is just the overview. If you hit that course page, then um, on that second space, as you scroll down, we post announcements. You'll get the tutor. There's a really nice tutor. We've got a specialized person dedicated still in the industry of financial planning so they can answer you um, regarding that module as it also pertains to the industry. 
Um, and then the next slide, I think Michaela goes into just another tab. We offer live sessions. So there is instances where you will have some feedback, you get to engage with your lecturer um, before the time the lecturer will even take some time to say, I'm hosting a live session. Is there any questions? Engage with your lecturer. Throughout the semester, you have access, obviously, to your course page per module. And um, once you've completed, also you have access to your course page to see your results and review. But you can go through each tab. So what's nice about this new look and feel also as we online is um, what they've done is they've actually split. So as you go through your course page per module, you have access to your content, your formative. We look briefly at that. Your summative will access your exam. And um, as I mentioned, the live at Millpark support material. Michaela, I don't know if you want to mention to them anything also about this online platform where we just get access nothing, to them. Nothing else, Renee. I think that's about the rest of And I think we're going to be handing over to Zulfa just now. Is there Ooh. anything you'd like to say before we hand over to Zulfa? Well, I would just like to say, for those that's here, I'm certain that you're already interested in this qualification. Please do, as you're sitting here online, already go and click Get Millpark um, information on I certificate in financial planning some more. And then I'd like to hand over to Zulfa for you. I think this is our dearest team member. She takes on so much for you guys and she's your support, your safety net throughout your course, you have access to her and um, she will engage and tell you more about this program. So, yo, for those that can mm -hmm. give in, a hand to Zupa. <laughs> Because yes. you should surely be able to pop some faces there. <laughs> yes, yes. Say hi. So just a reminder, guys, before we hand over to Zulfa, um, who is connecting shortly. Uh, if you have any questions, there is also a facility at the bottom of your screen. It's called Ask a Question. You'll see it pop up there. Um, if there's any questions, you want to ask Sunay anything about Mill Park, about the program, um, please do pop it there. Give us a little smiley face to let us know you're listening. Um, and as well, there is a poll, guys, to... Tell us if you'd like some more information. We, we'd love to get in contact with you and send you a mail with our, our information. Um, so I am just connecting quickly. So Nate to Zulfa, we'll, we'll connect to her now. Um, but is there anything else you'd like to say to our people? <laughs> oh, I think um, from my side, it's just this is for us. The very first they invited our lecturers. Um, and it was really for us in terms of preparation to be there so that you guys can see firsthand already who you are going to meet and who you are going to see throughout mm -hmm. your semester but you're yeah, definitely in terms of joining up i think we are the first in um this session being mm -hmm. able to provide you guys with just that front feet of being online and getting your qualification and degree um mm -hmm. ready for your career so yeah, yeah. Definitely. So I am just really going to talk to Zulfa. She's probably listening in right now if I can ask her to accept and connect again. Um, internet guys, at the best of times in South Africa, we do make what we can with the internet that we have. So whilst we're just trying to connect with her, I am going to quickly ask you, Sine, a few questions, if that's okay. I've got some hot questions I'd like to ask you about the program. You can go. What have been some of the highlights of teaching at Mill Park for you? I think definitely adapting to change. We've been mm -hmm. able to adapt so quickly. So for us, it was really in terms of this whole environment. Yes, it's been a bit of pressure for the lecturers, but adapting to this new online environment and we could do it so like it just felt seem free, like just easy. Um, whereas we're hearing from other schools <laughs> where it's like for them still a big process. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this was really good to know that you're able to complete your qualification and just take one of those stresses off you. So yeah, Absolutely. this has been a highlight. Definitely. I agree. I agree as well. So Sine, we have got Zulfa on with us. I'm going to say goodbye to you for the moment, but we'll have you back in a second. Bye Sine. Okay, so Zulfa, it is now over to you to run us through. Uh, welcome. Uh, we, we, we're glad to have you and we'll hand over to you. Okay, okay I'm on. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Zulfa Bardin and welcome to the open 
open day for the highest certificate in financial planning. Um, so, Sanaya, can you through all the academic content? And as you mentioned, I am literally your safety net on this program. Um, I manage uh, according to granting you guys ease and comfort throughout your journey. So that is my role to support you and to just give provide assistance and support to the best of my ability to help and to guide you throughout. Um, so that's my role as a program manager. Uh, as well, that gives me support, but I'm always your first point of contact on this qualification. Um, so I just always want to create a safe space for you guys. So I'm comfortable to ask me anything as we go along. Uh, the qualification and through your journey. Michaela, you can switch to the next slide. Let me know if you see it, Zulfa. So I've, I've been around with Millpark for 14 years, so I am part of the furniture. I uh, Millpark go from strength to strength um, over these years, so I'm quite clued up on processes. Okay, we seem to have lost Zulfa there for a second. Let me just bring my face back. There we go. Um, so while we are reconnecting to her, um, I'm just going to bring Sune back, if you give me a second. Um, not to worry, guys. This is this is the part of all the love and process that goes with connecting on a Monday morning. So what I'm going to do, uh, Sune, whilst we are waiting for Zulfa to reconnect, I'm going to ask if we can to any q and a's so we've got admission requirements and laws of progression but we will go into questions if you guys have any questions for sune to ask them now anything at all <laughs> how are you guys doing this morning how's it going um, yeah i can see quite a couple of faces already and good yes. morning so it would be lovely to hear from you yeah we've got we've got um boy to mail say good morning Bonello, Dylan, Marissa, Wadia, George, Natasha, you guys are all there. We can, we can see big smiles on a Monday morning. Um, when I so, recognize yeah. the name, some of these names already. Um, and go. I hope that they're definitely going to complete their qualification with us. Um, yes. Good morning to those. Um, <laughs> So what I'm going to do, Sune, is we're going to skip to the next bit, which is talking about the module specifically and talk to those lecturers. So we're going to start with the introduction to financial planning. So who is in charge of that module? So that's me. There we go. <laughs> you guys will have the opportunity to again engage with me on that module. Um, that module is specifically aimed around the legislation in financial planning really interesting to get started on that module because that's your first feel in terms of just the compliance of our industry and getting to know if like all the bits and pieces and how they fit in with the financial planning legislation is dion maybe online or harry then they um, can take I, think, one of the I think harry is online let's bring harry in let's and see. he can talk about his qualifications got a compulsory quite a big one there good morning fast. everybody uh, it's awesome. nice to join you from a, yeah, quite a place in Cape Town. So it's nice to see everybody's faith. Well, to actually be on the system and interact with some of our students and prospective students. So one of my modules is risk planning. Uh, it's quite a broad module. Uh, it covers some introductory stuff. And then it, uh, we do cover a little bit of short-term insurance uh, in, in uh, risk planning. I know it's not really related, but it gives you a broad base. and. You know, the financial planning field's changing a little bit and, and we are starting to overlap with short term in certain areas. So good good basis for you there, good wide background. Uh, then it goes into some health planning. So I think Sunay, when I when, uh, when we switch back to you, maybe you can just comment on the difference between um, um, in risk planning, we cover your know, medical schemes and medical gap cover kind of as a uh, just a, a basic framework and foundation and that Perhaps contrast with your um, health planning module. Maybe you can just talk about that tonight. Yes, so um, definitely. And I think that's what we've done with the qualification. Harry also obviously was one of those. He's been around, and you guys must please come and listen when it's his turn to talk about his qualification. Um, 
that the compulsory modules links quite nicely with some of the electives. So if you have your two electives, they link in with one of the, the bigger modules. And as I said, with the financial planning, insurance industry, and um, Gary will also know, being already around a long time, that you can go into different um, areas with financial planning. So yes, risk planning definitely um, yeah. links up again with um, health planning. And um, I think it might even touch on your elective wills and diseases states. Isn't there a short section on um, life covers and all of those as well in risk planning? In risk planning, we do cover that. Uh, just to jump back to the health one. So I think the way you should position this is if you're going to give advice, you need to understand medical schemes. Your clients are always going to come to you with medical scheme questions. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be an expert in medical schemes. If Can you hear Harry this in um, No, I think he's breaking up. So we're we'll losing okay. a bit of his connection there. I'll take any. HEP is on the screen. Give him a second. Yeah, just maybe In terms of health planning, I think what Harry mentioned there, I'm also the lecturer there, that's why I wanted to give it over to me. Mm -hmm. um, we offer that in the second semester of each um, year. And like you mentioned, it's not that you're going to be obviously an expert yet in financial, in healthcare, but it does give you that option to go a little bit more in detail as to what is the health planning industry about. And um, we have even included in that stuff um, that the insurance section of um, health planning. So we touch in that module on income tax related to health planning. We look at um, what a medical scheme typically the structure is about and then for a client as you have to advise or going into um, if you specialize as a broker obviously in health planning um, what you need to be equipped with to give that advice um, in terms of waiting periods late joint penalties how the tax around where um, it deals with and um, what's also interesting in that that module is definitely the regulation around it and what we've decided as well to include in that module is a little bit about um, the national health insurance and just where we are with that in terms of developments which is quite interesting because i think a lot of our clients are asking these questions and how they are going to impact us in um, the years to come yeah. Okay, awesome. you can go to the very first slide. Is Zulfa still struggling a bit with her internet? Yes. So we are this module to, to connect. So, so we'll I'm just going go to compulsory modules. Yes. Um, I was going to ask uh, Sune if you could yeah. run through the module progressions if you have that uh, and which ones we should do first because I think that'd be a great insight into which modules and when and how they fit in. So if you could just yes. run through the, the list of what to do first. I think because this was where Zulfa was going to tell you guys a little bit about yes. this. But this is um, in terms of the rules of progression, what we typically and also as the program managers engage with you as you enroll with the higher certificate, what we try to recommend that you start with knowing financial planning by completing your introduction with financial planning first and then um, the financial planning income tax. It's also a good module to start off with that. It starts you off with a little bit of a less credit when you look at credits. And it's um, because it's your first entry to the qualification, it gets a nice build to when you move to um, looking at your two upcoming, obviously, compulsory modules, retirement and investment planning, and then risk um, planning on this qualification. So in terms of progression, I'm certain that you can take three three modules per semester. Oh, I don't think there's a, a limit. Eh? As, as long as there's obviously the two um, mm. electives. You are not li limited, and I think Harry can just give me the a clue again on how it is. In terms of your five years that you need to complete um, IFPE first, um, but you need to obviously complete your compulsories within that five years with your two electives. Um, some students obviously prefer to complete it prior. And 
Gar, is there a limit on the number of modules our students can take in a in a semester? I can't recall now. I don't think um uh I don't think if you if you're working part-time you shouldn't try more than three at a time. If you're studying full time, perhaps up to six, but then just talk to the program manager about that as well. Okay. Awesome. So I think guys, what I'm going to do, uh, so we've walked through obviously the, the list of which you should go through first and then onto what electives are available. We're going to speak to that, but quickly, um, we are still trying to connect to Zorpa. So I'm going to walk you through just some of our funding options available for students um, and, uh, and what that means. So obviously guys, studying in 2021 means that we need to be able to access funds. Um, and uh, we really do want to partner with you on your learning journey. That is part of our messaging. We are partnering with you which means we have partnered with Capitech. So we want to bring you the best and um, most uh, awesome options available for funding. We do have uh, payment plans available, but guys, we also have fun partnered with Capitech um, and you can apply through our website to them for funding, which is awesome. And you get to up to 84 months to pay back whatever the amount is that you are required for the program. Um, this is all done through obviously Capitech with us. Uh, once you go through the page, it's on our, if you go to our website, www.mallpark.ac.za, you'll find at the top there a tab that says get study funding. Um, and you click on that and you follow the frequently asked questions. And uh, and then it's all through Capitech and us, which is awesome. It's a, it's quite a close-knit system. Um, just to remind you guys um, that admissions are closing on the 9th of July. So once we finish the, the session, I'll remind you if you want to apply for us uh, to study now, to start now in the second semester, um, admissions do close on the 9th. So I do have all of the lovely lecturers in front of me. So what I'm going to invite you guys to do is just have a little bit of a, a round table discussion about your modules. I'm going to ask Sunei just to lead that. And uh, if we can get Zulfa back, I will invite her back, but over to you guys. Okay, so we talked about IFPE and um, Gary also talked about his risk planning, which is compulsory modules on um, this I certificate in financial um, planning qualification. And then there's two more. There's obviously a tax, a financial planning income tax module. And um, then we have retirement and investment planning um, as another compulsory where we also have offer detail in terms of retirement industry, and then you look at a bit of calculations. Um, Gary, I think in your model, I'm not so certain, do you also look at time value of money in um, risk planning? Or is that based That's in risk Yeah. yeah. We, we, sorry, we do cover, cover the capital needs analysis on death and disability, and it does involve some time value of money calculations, uh, but not through a calculator, we've got a manual system that you use in the, in, in the module. Yeah, so that's what's also lovely about this qualification starting up with ISIT is we don't require that expensive calculator as you start off getting in on the ground with your NQF5. Um, we've got the factor table, so it saves you on that cost already. And um, even in retirement investment planning, as you get to know how to do these calculations, um, that's also in terms of the tables that you use. Um, then in terms of the electives, Wesley, one of our new lecturers that's joined, um, welcome to him. Um, he runs with some with a specialized module in terms of the short term. Wesley, if you could chat to us a little bit about that, tell the students on that module. Yes, good morning, everybody. And uh, thank you for joining us on our very first uh, uh, open day online. I'm really glad to be part of this and uh, that uh, you've given us the opportunity just to talk a little bit about our modules, albeit under these circumstances. I agree to you from Gauteng in a cold uh, Gauteng in, um, in the Pretoria area, but I'm glad to be part of this. Yes, uh, like Sutsunay rightfully said, uh, the Personal Alliance is a module that's also part of the, uh, uh, the High Certificate in Financial Planning. It's elective if you can, that's basically been uh, offered in semester one and two. And I personally think personalized insurance is very near and dear to my heart. For lack of a better word, I always say personalized insurance is basically short-term insurance 101. So what does this module basically do is when we, when we go into detail with the students, the module is basically aimed at providing the students, when you are going to do this module, 
just an understanding of the general principles of short-term insurance, especially if you're going to be a financial planner. Some of the financial planners prefer and they opt to do a bit of short-term as well. And this is where the personal life insurance module basically comes in. First class insurance also when we do the module and when we do the classes, we also go into the nature and the structure of the different personal lines products. So that you have an idea when you sit with your client, if you're in a claims department, if you're an underwriter, if you're a financial planner, that you have an idea of what the personal lines, the product is basically about so that you can give the right advice to your client also. Then we also look at the analysis of the underlying risks. We go into detail with the proposal form, which is very important because the FSCA requires from us to get all the required information so that we can underwrite the risk 100% and we can give the right advice to the client as well. Very important also is the claims process, because obviously as a financial planner, if you're gonna do a bit of short-term insurance, if a client's gonna ask, listen, I, I was involved in an accident with my, my motor vehicle, what are those procedures that I have to follow? So you need to be able to give advice to your client what the processes are, if you need to engage with the insurer as well and that you can give the right advice going forward to what documentation is being required in order to get the claims process and finalized at the end of the day. And lastly, the completion of the personalized model, you will get a certificate, which is a class of business that will equip you. And that's basically a confirmation to say that you at least know what personal lines insurance is about. But yeah, I look forward and uh, to working uh, with, with you if you uh, uh, decide to uh, join us and we're gonna have a lot of fun uh, going into detail with pers the personal lines model. Thank you, Sunay. Okay, thank you, um, Wesley. It was much enthusiasm on that personal lines. Um, definitely, there's so much um, of, especially the FSPs that have a specialized um, offices sometimes with um, short-term insurance. Quite interesting once you've had a look at the different opportunities they on offer. Is Brunilda there? I know a lot of students are always interested in the worlds and the seas, the states. That's something that tracks a lot of students um, in that module, which your first time, so you can maybe just give us a heads up on that. That uh, module is unfortunately at this point still only available in first semester because we really try and help you to balance out your studies. Um, so we want to see that successful completion. Can we see Brunilda yet? Is she live? Yes, I yes, can see you. I, <laughs> I can't yet. see you yet. <laughs> see I am here today. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, um, just on the walls and administration of the Estates, states, it's a, it's a wide range of things that we learn um, when we go through these modules. Um, and definitely walls is definitely not everyone's cup of tea and estates uh, definitely not um, but I myself are very uh, about um, that area and that field of financial planning um, and um, so Benjamin Franklin once said um, that in this world said to be certain except for death and taxes so um, I think when we look at the wills and administration of the seas that states it's not necessarily only um, important for someone that's interested in the field, but I think it's applicable to everyone in um, because it covers a certainty that we we will have to deal with. So um, that's sounding very depressive, but um, in um, we look at the impact of your marital status um, or your marital regime status on your capacity to make decisions and state obviously and then we look at also look at um, succession which covers interstate and testate succession um, obviously from there we look at formalities for valid wills and we have also touch on limited rights uh, which you get in created in terms of wills or inter vivos trust for that matter that's created um, in your estate plan and then to end it off we also look at the administration of the estates what the process is how it so um yeah it's a to me very interesting module I enjoy the the field um and I hope that there's quite a few of you that would be interested in and in looking at this module and um, joining
we're losing there a bit of Renilda. No, but no. yeah, this is um, definitely we do see that students do have tendency for interest in this. Um, as you mentioned, they're definitely also applicable on your personal life as well. Um, important as you um, see how this can affect in terms of impact when a death happens. Then Harry again, um, you guys, for those that's joining on this qualification already will know that we get to see him quite a lot. He offers as well um, opportunity and more learning on electives, um, re relationship marketing and basic principles of um, financial planning. And I must say in terms of today's space, as we're moving with and growing in FSPs and as the corporates are growing and they're really looking into specialized on how to um, look at their whole business and practice, um, these modules have become very important um, and be, has actually developed in a lot of FSPs a specific role for an employee. Um, which has really been great to see that there's greater focus on how we look at our practice and how we analyze that. Harry, if you can tell us a little bit about more the detail in those two modules that students can expect. Sure. Uh, relationship marketing is, I, th I think in financial planning, there's a realization that uh, we, we used to be very good at calculations and working with the facts and figures, uh, but we work with people. And more and more, there's a move towards uh, developing people's skills, you know, and learning how to kind of, if you compare that to doctors, talking about the bedside manner and how a doctor sets you at ease, even though he's got all the technical knowledge about how your body works and, and what you need to stay healthy, um, the way he talks to you makes a huge difference in how you experience a doctor. And relationship marketing speaks to that. It's... Um, it engages with the concepts of how do you deal with clients? You know, how do you read a client? What what what's the best way to engage with a client? So, relationship marketing. Some call it a, a soft skills module, but I think it's going to become more and more important in the next coming few years. You can see that in most of the literature in on the financial planning space, just about learning how to deal work better with our clients and not just restricted to doing a calculation and making some recommendations. Going over to the basic principles of business financial planning, uh, one of my favorite areas. Um, this is a, a module that you should look at, it's an elective, and it's something that you should consider if you're interested in a business type financial planning. So we'll discuss uh, the basic type of business entities. Uh, there will be some financial statements, nothing, nothing accounting. You don't have to set statements, but you have to learn to read statements a little bit. Uh, and then we go into a lot of uh, business assurance solutions, um, you know, financial planning solutions specific to businesses, things like key persons, uh, buy and sell agreements. You know, I think uh, if you if you work, most businesses that you work in, with in the financial planning space um, struggle with this issue of how to transition from the current owners to the next generation. And uh, the buy and sell agreements talk to that. And then we also end up with some, um, Oh, no, not in this module, sorry. This, so it's just the financial planning solutions um, and some business entities and, and financial statements. Sure. Yeah, that's also um, what we, I think we're going to see in the near future. Um, and there's been talks around um, tables and students should probably be aware and some of these already sitting online. Um, a focus on FSPs and corporates that have a division specifically for um, your business financial planning solutions because I think there we definitely need a more specialized advice. I mean, Harry can even mention to you guys as your tax module where you get a basic um, understanding of um, income tax, how again in terms of sections in, in the income tax, how it becomes applicable again in the business module for your key per man policies and those, which is quite interesting. Yeah, that's cool. Um, oh, sorry, do you want me to answer yeah. that now? Yeah, answer for uh, us, Fanny. So some of your business assurance solutions, um, they involve the use of life insurance product and like the buy and sell agreement or, or the uh, income tax, or, or sorry, or, or key person solutions. And those do have an implication. Uh, they could be subject to income tax or estate duty. So part of the BPBF module is that we show you how to identify when it, when it applies, 
and also how to adjust cover, uh, you know, like solutions on how to prepare for those uh, taxes that your solutions will be liable for, um, so that your clients uh, don't end up out of pocket uh, when uh, these solutions are implemented. Yeah, especially when they need those in their, those policies or investments most. Um, in terms of the other module that he spoke about, relationship marketing, Kari, I don't know if you've also seen, but um, we, um, I think he, he did mention briefly on that, but even on the financial planning, um, where we are credited with as a higher education, they're starting to focus even more and more on providing webinars and um, sessions available to understand our practices better in this new area. And then um, how that client relationship is then even more important. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think the um, if, if you look at the uh, certified financial planner um, competency profiles, there's definitely a shift where the worldwide, or the worldwide if financial planning board worldwide is looking at you know developing financial planners to be um, to to kind of develop these, the personal side of how to deal with clients and they're re realizing that it's more important actually than than just the uh, technical skills. So this module's a nice foundation towards that end. Yeah, definitely. But Kayla, if you can move to yes. the next slide, I think there's another elective on this. We've gone through, so we were running out of time, Sune, so I want to quickly wrap okay. up towards. Just quickly going to mention, yeah. I think there's another one, retirement funds. Yes. Yes. So there, which is available in the first um, semester. Those for um, sitting already with investment companies and working within the industry already, what we do see, this is really a nice module for those wanting to get to know where they're sitting as an administrator in um, with retirement and investment companies. This module really um, brings you up to um, a lot of background knowledge of retirement funds, how they work, how they structure it. So this is really a nice module um, for our corporate um, students already sitting in the corporate environment. Um, but also for those wanting to specialize in um, retirement funds, because this is where you step into the foundation of looking at retirement funds specifically. Um, Michaela, will there be time? Because I see there's a question around admissions. Yes. So I want to quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly try and reconnect to Zulfa while we're all here. Um, okay. Give me a second. Uh, but do you guys have anything else you'd want to wrap up with um, as we head towards the end? Any any further thoughts or or something to share with the team before I answer some of the Q&As? <laughs> Patty wants to jump in. Yes, I, I see there's a question from Diana Kamalu. Mm -hmm. uh, I, can, I think I can perhaps address and it's asking awesome. whether um, after she completes higher certificate, do she has to move to the advanced certificate before she does a degree? And I think that she's really asking a question about our BCom in financial planning. Mm -hmm. um, Diana, I think that the BCom in financial planning is a little bit different. Um, if you do the higher certificate in financial planning first, you will get credit for some of the modules towards your BCom. Uh, but it's not the same as the first year of your BCom in financial planning. The BCom is a three-year degree and it's wider. You'll do economics and tax and, and, and cover lots of legal aspects and, and really should look at it as a, as a three-year course. The I certificate is a standalone financial planning qualification. Uh, it covers your um, uh, qualification requirements to start giving advice. And the advanced certificate is a more advanced financial planning specific module, but you shouldn't uh, look at the advanced certificate as a second year in BCom financial planning. The, the BCom the is, is a separate degree. So, you know, don't don't mix the two up. Mm. Awesome. Zulfa. Thank you so much, Heidi. So I see we do have Zulfa back <laughs> while we've got her on the screen. Um, I'm going to quickly invite Zulfa just to say hi, if you can, in the next like two, three minutes. I know this is quite pressurized. Um, tell us a bit about yourself. Well, uh, you explained a bit about your role and then any hot hints and tips for those listening on the call. Uh, sorry for the connection problems. Not a problem. Yeah. So, yes, as I said, I'm Zulfa. I'm the program manager for this qualification. Any struggles, any difficulties, you may contact with me. We try and sort it out to the best of our ability. Uh, we have a student support uh, center that can also assist. And if you want to get started with your studies to apply for admission, this can be done online 
on um, the Mill Park platform. And we also have our sales consultants that will assist you there. Welcome. And it, awesome. admissions is on the 9th of July, so don't yes. miss out. Please come and join and have a look on our website. Yes, so Thank that was what I was going to lead into next. Um, that is that is where to find us, guys. So we have a slide which I wanted to show you guys, but not to worry, we are running out of time. It just says where to find us. Of course, we are an institution like any other. So we have our Facebooks and our Twitters and our Instagrams and our LinkedIn's. Go have a look there. We have some beautiful pages there with what's happening, what's hot, what's new, what's on offer. Um, hear a bit more from our lecturers. We post articles there. Um, so really come and visit us. Um, our website is www.millpark.ac.za. But if you click on the click here to visit our website at the bottom of your screen, you'll also be able to see us there. Um, and please direct any questions that you have towards us in the session. And we are more than happy to answer them. Um, and of course, as Zulfa says, we are willing and 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 ready for you guys for a semester two already. Start your journey now. By the 9th of July, you guys have to have your admissions in. Um, Sophie Mpo says, hi, beautiful people. Do we know Sophie? Uh, <laughs> Hattie's waving there. Hattie knows the Sophie. So um, just as we are ending the hour, guys, if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask our team, our beautiful team of lecturers here. Um, there's one or two which couldn't join us this morning. But of course, as you said, connection is, as connection will be. Uh, but it has been great to hear from everybody. I want to say thank you so much to Sune for, for leading us through the slides and for inviting us to chat about all the fantastic electives available. Um, by our great lecturers, to our Brynhilde, Harry, Wesley, thank you so much, guys, to, to you for giving us a small taste of what's available and uh, and to invite you to... So, uh, someone, Sune says, how do I go about applying for admissions to start now? She also wants to know the answer to that. Um, Sune, so don't forget, you have to visit our website. It is www.mullpark.ac.za. Um, at the top right of the, the tabs there, you'll see it says apply now, and there's a lot of little boxes you can fill your details in um, to get in contact with us and tell us a bit more about what you're interested in and, and when you'd like to start. We also want to get... Uh, Okay, so what happens if on the 9th July I don't have full amount to register, can I pay half? Sophie, don't worry, this is why we have our Capitech deal running. So get in contact with our sales staff, they will be able to assist you with regards to either a payment plan or a Capitech funding deal. And um, we do want you to start as soon as possible and of course start your learning journey with us. It is of course that journey that Claudia is also was referring to. It's There's many different things available and we'd love to find you where you are and, and continue that conversation. So guys, um, just a, another one for me. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, thank you so much for your patience with regards to connection. It is, it is. Um, but we have really enjoyed the session. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to email us um, to, to pop us a, an in. Oh, there's more. Thank you. See, there's more thank yous from Sophie. Awesome. So uh, from anybody on the team right now, anything else you'd like to close with or, or end with? I invite you to do so now. Nothing? We're all good? All fine on this Monday morning? Beautiful. Okay, so I see Sine has posted a fantastic, uh, yes, the admission requirements for the program. Thank you so much, Sine. So if you want to see if you do qualify for the program, uh, have a look there as well. Just pop us a, an application uh, on the website. Uh, go and apply now there and we can, we can guide you through with our sales staff and of course our beautiful program manager to see if you qualify for the program. So thank you so much to everyone who is on the call. We do really appreciate you. We hope you have a fantastic Monday. And of course, we have a whole week ahead, guys, of programs we're going to be featuring for the School of Financial Planning and Insurance. Tomorrow is short-term insurance, the high certificate in short-term insurance. So we'll be seeing Wesley again, and we'll be joined by Marissa and Tracy, who will walk us through the programs. But for now, that's, that's all from us. We thank you so much, and we hope you have a fantastic Monday further. Thanks so much, guys. Yes. Bye.